Hey folks, Bill Swift from Swift Canoe and Kayak, and we're here today to talk about these incredible new combi canoes that we've developed, which are some of our most popular tandem canoes, the Kiwaden 16, the Prospector 15, and the Prospector 16, with a center seat in them. You can have them with the seat either fixed to be in the boat forever, or we have this really cool new system to make them detachable. These give you so much versatility. You can get three, four boats in one. So let's talk about these in more detail. Here is our popular Prospector 15. Absolutely beautiful two-person canoe. We sell them a lot to couples that want to do a lot of tandem to paddling together but then they really want to boat to solo. And because it's a little bit shorter in length, there's less boat above the waterline when you're solo paddling. So it's a little less susceptible to the wind and the waves moving the boat around. Now, this is a beautiful shape, guys. David Yost has very rounded chine areas in all of his boats and very consistently rounded from one end to the other. Very comfortable to paddle in wind and waves. And there's a bit of tumble home on it up near the top where the sides get pulled in. And that makes it when you reach over the sides, you don't need to reach as far. We've placed this center seat where you're just a tiny bit tail heavy in this boat. And what's really cool about it is that I can use both a canoe paddle and a kayak paddle. When I'm using the canoe paddle, I'm 6'3", the front seat here acts as a perfect foot brace for me. If it's folks that are a bit shorter, say five, six, up to six feet tall, you may want to get either the kayak foot braces or the carbon foot bar if you really like to sit while you're solo. And here's what I love to do. We've set the seat up where the sides of the seat come way over to the side I've got size 12 and a half feet. I can very quickly and comfortably put my knees under. This is a beautiful boat to really lean way over to the side when you're solo paddling. And it makes it where you can paddle right next to the side of the boat. Very, very cool position. This baby is really fun to paddle solo. All size of paddlers, if you're shorter, this is definitely going to be the combi boat for you if you're looking to do a bunch of solo paddling. Now, let me also show you the kayak paddle. Now, I really like the kayak paddles that you can adjust the length on. And a real popular size for this particular boat will be a 240 to 260. And there's a bunch of paddles now. Werner has them. Bending Branches have them where you can adjust the angle of the blades and the length of the paddle with one adjustment. Werner uses what this paddle is, what's called a lever lock, which locks it in place. What I like to do is I like to paddle where I have the drip ring set up close to the ends of the paddles where the water will drip outside of the boat so I don't get as wet while I'm paddling. If I am getting a little wet, I'll make the paddle a little bit longer. And it's really cool. While you're out paddling, you can try different angles of the blades. You can try different lengths of the paddle. So the thing about the Prospector 15, guys, this has incredible versatility. Great two-person boat, really fun to solo, and it's got both the upper and height positions if you order the multi-height pods on it. And you can also put three people in this boat if you want to. Prospector 15 Combi, a great boat for many people. We've developed this super cool detachable seat system and multi-height seat system. So this one right here is so easy to adjust. And this quickly, guys, I can take the seat from one height position to the other. There's magnets on the back of the system and it's got this really cool pin system where you push these down and it pops out in the front. 
Now the lower height position on all our combi canoes is about the height we would put a pack boat seat in. So a lot of people get the GCI sit backer seat in this with a real comfort backrest on it that you can adjust easily. Really comfortable position. What I really love about the seat system is when you use the kayak paddle. These boats are really fun to paddle. They just track so straight, they're so zippy. You gotta try it out that way. So if you're getting a combi, I really like the multi-height pod system and give solo paddlers the ability to use both a canoe paddle in the upper height position or the kayak paddle in the lower height position. Here is a Prospector 16 Combi, Ruby over Champagne in Kevlar Fusion, and it normally would have a fixed seat. It's standard in the Combi, right at the balance point for solo paddling. This one also has the optional multi-height seat pods. Now all of the Combi canoes come standard with the bow and stern seats, a bow thwart, cherry interior, you can order them with a carbon tech package. It looks just beautiful where it comes with a black carbon Kevlar trim and it's got the black handles, the black seats, the black bow thwart. This one also has the optional multi-height seat system. So I can raise and lower the seat to the different heights. Now all the combi canoes come standard with the pen systems right at the balance point for portaging and we've got this real cool yoke system where when you want to get to your carries, all you need to do is put this on and just screw it into position. When you put these on, folks, you don't want to be Hercules. You don't want to crank and crank and crank and crank. Just get it snug to the point where it doesn't move much anymore. When you get to that point, it's perfect. And this is beautiful, guys. This is now a great two-person tripping boat, two-person recreational boat, solo canoe to use in the upper and lower height seat positions. And a lot of folks will put three people in here, a dog. The Prospector 16 is a little bit deeper than the Prospector 15. It's got a bit more volume to it. The Prospector 16 is a great combi boat for families, for bigger paddlers, or for those that really want to load the boat up, that want to put a lot of gear in it. Maybe three people sometimes, a dog, camping equipment, lots and lots of volume to it. Like all of the David Yost boats, just an absolutely beautiful waterline shape to this. These boats look big, but when you look down at the waterline, They've got a very sleek, efficient shape to them with a bunch of flare that really pushes the waves out to the side and away from the boat. And then coming up, they've got quite a nice little amount of tumble home on them. Makes it easier for the bow and stern paddler to reach over the side. Someone my size, 6'3", 240 pounds. This is a boat I can really handle comfortably solo. If it's someone smaller, it's a great boat, you just don't want to solo it on a super windy, wavy day because you're going to have more volume above the waterline for the wind to potentially catch you. Now, it's also an absolutely cool boat to paddle with a kayak paddle. We talked with the Prospector 15 about using the lower height position with the kayak paddle. You can actually paddle in the upper position too if you, the stability is comfortable for you. Now you can see the position right here for my feet. I'm going to get, if I'm getting the Prospector 16, I'm gonna get the kayak foot braces if I like keeping my feet over to the side or the carbon foot bar is actually my choice because it goes right across the boat. When you paddle, you transmit your energy and your power by pushing on your feet, especially in the solo position. I find it's really neat to have the foot brace position. This Prospector 16 is a beauty. It's going to make a lot of people happy. Here is a Kiwaden 16 combi and this is in the carbon fusion laminate. It's got the nice yellow appointed two-tone bottom, 
just beautiful. We do the matching yellow stickers on it. One of the things that we do with the combi versions in all our boats is we make the seats frames as wide as we can for each position. So note on the bow seat how wide this is here. The bow paddler can move over to the sides very nicely. Our seats are also all curved. The front bars are angled forward on all of them. Super comfortable position. Look what we do for the solo position. Again, very wide frame seat, angle to the front bar. So when I get in this boat, when I'm solo paddling, if I want to heel it on the side a little bit, I can paddle both legs forward. I can paddle one leg forward. Like the prospectors, the Kiwaden 16 is very rounded in the chine area. It's got a beautiful shape to it. A lot of tumble home to the sides. Beautiful, beautiful boat. So I like this boat to paddle solo. It's a little straighter tracking than the prospectors. Little less rocker in the stern. Little bit more rocker forward so the bow's nice and maneuverable. For people that really like to travel and cover ground, this Kiwaden 16 is amazing. When I paddled it, what I like most about this combi version when for the solo position is that this baby with the kayak paddle has a higher speed potential than the prospectors does. So the speed to me isn't as important as the efficiency is. So when I paddle, I can cover a little bit more ground with the Kiwaden. If you're looking for a boat to perhaps get a little bit more exercise in, go further. The Kiwaden's going to be the right choice for you. Here is the Kiwaden 16 Tandem Pack Boat. It's not in our combi price list, but many customers that really want to get really good back support will order this particular boat along with the center seat. Now the seating system is the same as what we put in our pack boats. It's the fold down seat. When you're not using it, fold the seat down, tighten it up. When you go to use it, you just push this right in here. The strap flows right through here, folks. When you pull this up, super amount of foam on the seat, adjustable lumbar support, people that have back issues, people that just want extreme comfort in a canoe, absolutely love this particular model. So I'm pretty big for this boat in the front, but I fit. This is nice and I can brace my feet on the side. It gives me a little bit more support when I paddle. Now the seat itself, I can adjust it. These straps work just like backpack straps. I can pull it forward, I can loosen it. And if I want to, I can move the lumbar pad around. I like it really high up. Everyone finds the sweet spot that works for them. This, when I paddle, it's so comfortable. A lot of people love the seat system. But then at the same time, they really want to get the center seat. So the fixed center seat that's detachable is a $250 option. And then you get the detachable yoke with it. And you can also order it with the multi-height pod system for $400 if you want both the upper and lower height position. If you're looking for extreme comfort in a tandem canoe with a solo option, look strongly at this boat, Kiwaden 16 Pack. You'll find it in our pack boat section on the website. Beautiful paddling boat, lots of comfort. The Prospector 17, the Kiwaden 17, the Kiwaden 18.6, are not in our combi canoe section, but we want to let you know that there's also a variety of center seats that you can order for these models. Here's a Prospector 17, and this baby is absolutely gorgeous. This is the Expedition Kevlar layup. It's got the clear Expedition Kevlar, the basalt and negra on the outside with the champagne bottom, the black carbon Kevlar trim, it's got the carbon tech package where all the interior parts are carbon. 
It's got this really nice adjustable bow sliding seat so smaller paddlers can move the seat forward, make the canoe narrower and easier to reach over the side. This is a very popular option with families. Beautiful carbon yoke. And here's something really cool, folks. This is a carbon detachable seat. So if you are getting this in the regular Cherry Tech package, the Cherry seat is just the same, it's detachable. So if you're using this as a tandem tripping canoe, you can take the seat right out during your trip. And then if you do wanna use it for solo or a third paddler, you just snap this baby right back in. So whether it's cherry or carbon, this is a fantastic option for the bigger guys. The Prospector 17, Kiwaden 17, Kiwaden 18.6. This is what we call the solo position in the big boats, where it's behind the yoke. You can put a pack, a dog in front of you to help balance the boat out. Now it's also available in what we call the kid center seat position, where we put it right in front of the yoke and we turn the yoke around backwards. So if you really want a versatile boat with lots of use, but you need bigger than 16 feet, these Prospector 17, Kiwaden 17 and 18.6, these are beautiful boats. So folks, we hope this video's really helped you out. There's a lot of custom outfitting we do for a lot of customers. These boats are beautiful to paddle. They're really durable and you guys may know my saying, but if you can't decide which one to get, maybe you need to get a couple of them.